The research project titled Linkages explores relations between objects within the landscape of Evrea City, an industrial city of 20th century, and ultimately boost them. The principal keywords selected were connectivity, smart mobility, public spaces and reuse of heritage buildings. Initially, the important and potential zones are selected, which are then connected with a special infrastructural loop, smart mobility route. This enables to an easy access to all parts of Evrea City. Then the relation of core zone and buffer zone was studied in order to explore its potential and instrumentalize it. Different public spaces are placed according to specific contexts along boundary. We find some vacant public spaces that can be reactivated in order to provide more possibilities to connect people and heritage of different generations. We want to convert them and combine existing public spaces for a complete experience. Introducing diversity activities generate more interaction with the historical heritage. This is our design for vacant spaces. The first is the redesign of the vacant space by the river. Reorganized and designed into a riverside park. The second one is about community square to meet the gathering needs of the community. The next is tourist square. Provide more leisure and entertainment space for possible growing tourists. Finally, according to the needs, design a children's playground for local residents to improve the quality of their life. This table maps the stakeholders through their type, scale of action and exceptions. It can be found that the process of the project will involve the interests of different stakeholders. Stakeholders are responsible for the progress. This chart shows that the developer, architect and government have the main responsibility relevance. The connectivity for around different zones in Ivry was enhanced with the help of smart mobility. Within the idea walking is considered as elementary smart mobility, and thus given importance in the planning. Apart from it, organized paths are integrated in the routes for smart mobility for easy flow. Separated pedestrian, cycle and electric scooters paths are designed. In addition to this, the idea of modular furniture was included. The modular furniture is adjusted to needs of events and public gatherings. All of the aforesaid interventions were intended to increase connectivity among the public in Ivry. Another fundamental aspect of the proposal is to reuse of existing buildings which are nominated as UNESCO heritage and which are partly or in many cases even entirely abandoned nowadays. This map illustrates how these heritages are situated on the urban scale of the city of Ivrea, as well as demonstrating the actual use of the buildings whether they are in use or abandoned. La Fabrica di Mattoni Rossi had a crucial role for beginning an industry that expanded itself having four more extensions during the time. Intervention Project keeps the same approach for this building, by proposing it to be the home to various robotics labs, filmmaking, and sound recording studios. This tends to encourage young people to come up and realize their creative ideas in various fields. First and second extensions of ICO offices maintained abandoned in previous years and also now. Startup companies could have a very evident contribution for the community of Ivrea, serving as a global and local magnet for hosting new companies. Definitely, the collaboration between startup companies and Techno Hub will provide a long term network of sharing skill between expert and the next generation. Mensa a circular recreative was the canteen and recreation zone of ICO workers. Nowadays, being in vicinity of university campus and design school, it would suggest some activities to fulfill the needs of the young people. The intervention proposal of the Mensa includes some eating and dining facilities in first floors and some indoor sport activities in upper floors. Central Tomika has been the energy center of the ICO office, which is now abandoned. The light is always ensured inside of the building, due to its glassy elevations. These features made the building suitable for exhibitions and cultural events. Implementation of curtain walls will make possible to conduct also musical events and community scale concerts. Central Studio Esperienza was the building dedicated to trainings for mechanical designers of ICO. It will be used as a design school connected to the university and techno hub to conduct different type of design courses and trainings. 